androgen insensitivity syndrome. This is a patient simulated task. The task assesses the following domains. Communication with the patient, information gathering, patient safety, applied clinical knowledge. You are the SD5 in the gynecology clinic today. Anne Jones, 17 years, has come with her investigations, which were done as she is a case of primary amenorrhea. Her karyotype shows 46XY. Your task is to take relevant history, discuss the report with her and explain diagnosis, discuss management and address her concerns. Hi, I'm Dr. Ankita, one of the doctors in the clinic today. What may I call you? May I confirm your age, please, Anne? So, Anne, do you go to school? And how are things in school? How are things at home, Anne? That's great to know. And I'm given to understand that you are here because you had concerns about your periods and you were asked to do a few investigations. So you're here to discuss the same, is that right? But before we go on to discussing the report, is it okay if I ask you a few questions to know more about you? Some of the questions may be a bit personal, but I may need to ask these questions. However, I assure you that whatever we discuss here shall remain between you and me. So Anne, tell me more about your concerns. Have you done any other tests or treatments before this? Do you have any medical problems you see your GP for? Have you undergone any operations? Have you noticed any lump in the groin or hernia? Please don't mind me ask. Are you currently sexually active or in the past? And is there a problem during intercourse and? Any family history of such problems with periods? Do you smoke? What about alcohol? Any recreational drugs? Do you have any allergies? Are you well supported at home, Anne? Thank you for all that information, Anne. Is there anything else you want me to know about you? So before I discuss the report, has anyone spoken to you what test was done this time and why? And would you like to have someone here with you today before I discuss the report? I'm afraid and there is some concerning news. And all of us have genetic information that we get from our parents that is packed in the form of chromosomes, usually 46 chromosomes. Most women have the chromosomes 46XX and therefore they develop ovaries, the womb and the vagina. Most men have chromosomes 46XY. So am I clear so far? Few women have chromosomes 46XY and as a result of this they do not develop ovaries, womb and vagina. And I'm really sorry to say this. Your report which we have confirmed with your name and NHS number says that you have 46XY chromosomes. I'm really sorry, Anne, but the report does not change the fact that you are a girl and will be. There are a few things I do need to tell you, Anne. Is it okay for you to continue the consultation? As I mentioned before, the ovary, the womb and part of the vagina may not be developed. So it is possible 
that there may be difficulty or pain in cow or dairy sex. There are treatment options available like there are dilators that are used to increase the size of the vagina and certain exercises and psychosexual counseling they may be offered. If that doesn't work, then you may need a surgery for which we could refer you to a plastic surgeon. Is that okay with you? Really sorry to say this Anne, since there is no home, pregnancy may not be possible. Of course, we could refer you to a fertility clinic as there are options like surrogacy wherein another woman would be carrying the baby for you and adoption. Also, and the normal ovaries produce certain hormones, the estrogen hormone, which is necessary for the health of the bones, heart and brain. So we will be offering you hormone replacement therapy in conjunction with the specialist. I'm sorry and I don't mean to scare you by saying all this. Am I being clear? Also, there is another matter of importance we must discuss. In such a situation, if the gonads are left back, it can result in certain abnormal changes and there is a possibility of cancer. Again, I don't mean to scare you. We will need to do a scan to locate the gonads. You may be offered a surgery to get them removed. I'm sorry, I know I'm giving you a lot of information and I will give you all this in writing as well. And your care will be under a team of specialist doctors that we call a multidisciplinary team. I know all this can be a bit overwhelming and we do have support groups that could help you through your treatment. Do you have any specific concerns? I will be discussing about you with my consultant. I could arrange an appointment for you with him. And here is the written information. Thank you so much.